I guess there's two, like, I feel like that lady's living down here for a little while. I helped my mom out upstairs. And uh, I've been cleaning the basement. Gosh, I've got an extended part. Uh, you can charge as an adult. This is insane. This is insane. This person has been stealing from the owner of this property for seven months now. And, uh, you know, today is the day. She's got done talking to the bailiff. Looks like she's going to be pulling off now. Time that is convenient for you with your schedule, and I'll send them there. Over me, I'm gonna hang up the phone. All right, I'm You're listening. Being rude as fuck. Anything that the tenant wanted, or the tenant, you know, at that point, all their crap is outside. They can go to their pile of stuff, and they could take it all with them. If they don't take it all with them at five o'clock, we have to go back to the property and remove all that stuff. So these poor people in the other units are washing their clothes after him. And they're getting his shit on their clothes. We're That's gonna, when gonna I started carrying the butcher knife. <laughs> and uh, took a lot of bugs out, hoping they... Because it'd be dark in the motherfucker. Hello. Do you have a mouth? Do you know how to talk? Can you answer the question? that is convenient for you with your schedule and I'll send them there. Over me, I'm gonna hang up the phone. All right, I'm You're listening. Being rude as fuck. I have not met Grant. I have spoke to Grant. Joe. And stop threatening to evict us because we have done nothing wrong. Joe. It requires a 24-hour notice, right? So, like, they could do it at any time of 24 hours. hours. Glad we could work it out and it's mutually beneficial yeah. for everyone. You're wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Mission accomplished! Just stick this across the front door so I can tell if somebody opened the door. Here you go, don't take a picture. Kapow! Give me Kiyoshi! Kiyoshi ain't even stuck down here! And gave him a mother down here too! Yeah, like they run this mother field! No, no, go on, go on. You could have gone back to Columbus. You don't come here running telling me what to do. I'm just asking why you are Don't even, don't, don't even start, no, no. I stay to my I don't be cool with nobody, I stay down here. I'm trying to get my house together, because why my life keep going. Trying to see why my walls cracking it. Why I'm paying all this money, that bathroom wall about to fall apart. Just cakes and shit. That's all that, yummies. Freaking uh, a dream mattress, man. Dream mattress. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. I think if someone from the city did come here, probably would be condemned. I'll get that floor in there with that, with that wood about to fall in. Well, we have to go back up that way. But I'm getting the uh, the bathroom walk right now. And then I have to go back and get that outlet. Go knock Almost, on the door. Almost, yeah. <laughs> then video camera. No, no, go knock on the door and ask Bam and let them see the basement. Because Kita said she's going to give me her key. I was going to move my stuff over there. Yeah, they had that truck. The car. Stop, 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 stop. Um, I go to the apartment and there's like a trail of bread crumbs except it bread crumbs except it's shit and it's just like he pooped his pants and it was running down his leg and you could see like everywhere he stopped all the way back from uh, the gas station down the street all the way up to the front of the apartment. You know, he must have uh, filled up his key for a little bit at the front door because there's a bunch there. <laughs> this is insane. 
This is insane. Well, he can't prove it. I'm like, all right, whatever. So I had to get the shovel out of my truck and clean poo out of the inside of an apartment building and off the sidewalk. And I had to have people come and scrub it off. It was gross. So fast forward a couple weeks later, we get another phone call about this guy or about the um, attendant calls in and says, hey, the washing machine has shit kicked on the inside of it. And so there's a dryer. You didn't say that because you know it's a lie. This is my daughter apartment. And I pay his rent every month. She ain't lacking on shit. So, of course, go there. This dude had just been like taking his like soiled clothes and sticking them in the washing machine without uh, rinsing them off, even though he told me not to even use our washing machine. So he's like got like, you know, a washing machine's not designed to get like shovelfuls of shit out of your clothes. You know, it's, you, gotta, you gotta do a little pre-treatment. Hurry up, Hello. Do you have a mouth? Do you know how to talk? Can you answer the question? Like everybody else in this. The inside of the dryer is just caked. It's all baked in there. We had to get rid of the dryer. We had to get rid of the washing machine. Thankfully, we were able to evict that guy. But, I mean, when the, me and the bailiff shut up the victim, I, you know, talked to the bailiff and I warned him. I'm like, hey, man, just so you know, this unit smells really bad. And, you know, the bailiff's like, yeah, right, man. How bad can it be, you know? He's done 100 evictions. He's like, oh, it's nothing. We open the door. I immediately start dry heaving because the smell just, like, hits you in the face like someone hit you with a shovel. The bailiff like has to like turn away the smell so bad and he's trying to talk to the guy with his hand over his mouth and the guy's just like oh it's not me it's not me it's not my smell and when uh if, when we uh, put a lock on there we're going to give you a key i know but they, that key can't yourself. be that key you see that i didn't even know they broke the lock because i i had a key two weeks ago but i need the key now for right but we're yeah. going to put a lock on there and we're going to give, we're gonna give it to you and uh, took a lot of bugs out, hoping they, cause it'd be dark in the motherfucker. What's killing me is, once I move the car, I gotta move him at once. Because when he left the body here, turn it out of He took my keys to all my vehicles. One and three fifths deep. You know, so. Rat poop, or mice poop. All over the place. And, uh. <coughs> <coughs> oh, God. There's things. Yeah, um, it's been. I need your information, Don't play with me. I don't care about y'all looking at me. I got them looking at y'all. Company anymore. Yeah, they're nice they and cute. They're going to break a box. Breakers? Who right. are these people? And then I got to act white 20 
30 days to Excuse get my name. We're gonna tripping. go in here one more time. But Joe okay. though got fancy here because you ain't even trying to cut my dog. Oh, you got the room or something? Yeah, it's all wet. Guest appearance. <laughs> all right, so we are at the house. We just pulled up to the house. I got my crew out there. That's John. And then we got all the the court appointed movers are all here. How, how much of their belongings are in the car? Or in the house, rather? Probably about 75%. No one's there. I'm expecting they'll probably come back, though, because Dave said they pulled off right before. Um, yeah, we thought the boyfriend was Thompson's car the whole time. Because no. he kept staring at us. Well, yeah. Thompson's <laughs> like, those guys videotaping them. Yeah, he wants to hang out in the dark. Mm -hmm. And I took the one out there, too. It was upstairs when I come in, I just click it on the side over here. Mm -hmm. See, that was for my sake. Mm -hmm. And it goes right down the stairs in his unit. So I start banging the door, I'm like, dude, come on. He's like, oh, that's not me. That's not mine. I'm like, there's a trail from point A to point B. But since these motherfuckers been coming in, you know, oh no, I'm not in the basement, um, hot tea. They be lying to me. But yeah. no, I want you to know, Set the record straight. They don't live in apartment one. Okay. Angel. Cause that's the man that like the cans. Cause I got two bags of cans up there for him. This apartment was completely redone a few months before this tenant moved in. There's a bailiff right there. We have another bailiff up there. This Escalade uh, right there is actually the tenant who is currently being evicted. Uh, she's kind of just running around, screaming, wanting to know where the landlord is. Remember, this person has known that this has been coming for seven months. This person has been stealing from the owner of this property for seven months now. Today is the day. She's got done talking to the bailiff. Looks like she's gonna be pulling off now. Yeah, why not? You know, I, I know a lot of these people, and you know my heart goes out for them. Especially all of them. This property, this is located in Cleveland, Ohio. So we took all of that crap out of the apartment. So to get us to be allowed to do that, we had to spend $750. Then the actual cost of taking all the guys over there and removing all that crap, changing the locks, $1,147. Anything that the tenant wanted or the tenant, you know, at that point, all their crap is outside, they can go to their pile of stuff and they could take it all with them. If they don't take it all with them at 5 o'clock, we have to go back to the property and remove all that stuff. You can't just leave crap everywhere. You'll get a fine from the city. Notice that she is driving a Cadillac Escalade. <laughs> if, that, if that isn't the most ironic thing you've ever seen in your life, the fact that this girl, seven months, giving her sob story to the bailiffs, giving her sob story to the crew out there, and she pulls off in her Cadillac Escalade. So these poor people in the other units are washing their clothes after him. And they're getting his shit on their clothes. Evictions are already a pretty stressful situation, so we do not want to add any stress to this situation. We do not want to bother the crew or get in their way. Uh, so we're going to let these guys do their thing. I got my flashlight. I did. There's that other lock that used to be right here. I guess there's two, like, I feel like that lady's living down here for a little while. I helped my mom out upstairs. And uh, I've been cleaning the basement, but it's like, it looks like mess, but it was all clothes on top of this before. So it was even worse. A lot of it is stuff that she had stored down here. Okay. They just, like, ripped it apart, you know, so I'm trying to pick it up, clean it, and take care of it. I just have to sweep this right now. And canvas. But I helped take care of the. Um, 
you got a hard working American down there in North Carolina. Tried to be the nice guy. Tried not to evict her for those first three months. And now he is seven months into this thing. And this girl's giving her sob story as she pulls away in a Cadillac Escalade. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.